for St. John's Prep and Cinderella Lawrence High's reign, uh, 87-73 in the Division I North Final game here at uh, the TD Garden. I'm here with Paul Neal. Coach, Pat Carnathan, 31, Mike Carbone, 30. They're back up. They're pretty talented back up. And, and they're a well-coached team, and they're experienced. They've been here before. You know, we have no one who – this is the first year we've even gotten out of the first round with this group of guys. and. You know, and I think it made a difference. I, I, I think we gave a good run, but when our big picked up those fouls, it, it was just tough to stay in the game. You know, and they shot the ball extremely well, and, and they got a Division One player, and that, it made all the difference. You know, they made the right choices. 47, 46 and a half time. You guys are right there. You're running up in the floor. It seemed like it was your pace. You guys are playing at your pace, your game, up and down. Yeah. Um, did you feel like you could keep it going? Another eight, 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 we were going minutes. up and down, but we weren't stopping them. You know what I mean, and 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 they have more in outside shooters that are, than we did. You know, we're tiny, so even with our shooters, it's easy to really cover them. And we knew, you know, we're talking about a hundred point pace. You know, we weren't going to win that battle, and we needed to get stops, and we didn't get stops, and we needed a rebound. I, I think it hurt us. We gave up a ton of points. We did a good job on the initial defense, but didn't box up. You know, and I think that just killed us. We couldn't recover. You know. Great run by the Lancers after an early uh, playing win over Chelmsford. They knock off number two Cambridge, number seven Westford, and number three Lynn English the other night. You had to have a little bit of fun. Uh, you know, trying to look back. It had to be a little bit of fun this round. You know, when you're going through it, you don't really, you don't enjoy it because you're, you're nervous. You're planning for the next one. You're anxious. You're trying to get the guys ready. You know, I think the next couple of days I'm going to be able to look back, and then it's going to be also my responsibility as a coach to let these guys know what they've accomplished, you know. So now the coaching is not over. Now I'm going to try to, we have to try to build them up and let them know how special what we did together and how special it is. And, you know, there's bigger things than basketball and that we have a relationship that goes beyond basketball. And that's what I'm going to try to promote the next couple of days. And the loss, another 30-point night for Jalen Allison. He really showed people this other player he really did. Yeah, I mean, I've been saying it and no one has believed it because he wasn't playing that way. But, you know, you see the team play. You see the things he can do. And, you know, he's playing within a system, and, you know, and boy, what a, what, what a way to, to finish his career, you know, just a, just a great kid and a great player. And my only hope is that I can keep him going in the, in the right direction because, you know, that's a lot of talent not to go anywhere. You know, a lot of talent. Absolutely. Alice and the Lancers fall short tonight, 87-73. Paul, great ride. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys.